Oh, hey guys, Mackie here with Ironside Ranch. <clears throat> this is a. Uh, I didn't get a video out earlier today. I really wanted to. I just didn't have time. We got just got slam busy today. But then I got I got sent this article um, about a uh, another labor shortage, another labor strike here in Alabama, and this is actually on a poultry processing plant. Now I don't know the numbers as far as like how um, how much poultry it is. It's, it's Wayne Farms, I believe W A Y N E, like Bruce Wayne, but Wayne Farms. Um, and uh, they are apparently having a, a, a poultry strike, and uh, what's, what the workers are asking for is for the third shift workers to get a three dollar an hour raise, second shift workers get a two dollar an hour raise, and first shift workers get like a dollar twenty an hour raise. And uh, <clears throat> that's that's going on at this this big processing facility up in Albertville. And I've driven by this processing facility before. It's a really large one. Uh, it's certainly one of the larger ones in the state. And I don't know exactly what, like I said, how much of it, what, what the production amount is for how many birds they process for the state of Alabama. Uh, but I can guarantee you it's fairly significant. And that's going to make a significant difference. And again, if we're seeing this with one poultry processor, we're going to see it with other ones across because nobody's going to work for $3 an hour less at one poultry processor. And they can do the same shitty job at another poultry processor down the road. So, it's gonna it's gonna trickle down at some point in time and the other poultry processors are either gonna have to just agree to the, the new wages or um <clears throat> or they'll, they'll end up with a strike on their hands as well and um this i guess it's not a true strike they call it a walkout but whatever anyways the, the 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 fact that this strike is happening and i'm not saying it's necessarily unjustified uh right now we had you know 14 percent inflation last year. i know they fed put out 6.2 percent but we all know the numbers that is 14 percent if you include housing food and and uh and gas so you know that is what it is 12 to 14 percent so if you didn't get 12 14 percent raise last year you are uh you're feeling it now and uh, it's only going to get worse. We're only going to feel it more and more as uh, as we continue to go forward. So, <coughs> um, you know, my guys, I, we just couldn't afford to give everybody a 12 to 14 percent raise this year. And uh, and we're looking at it now to see if as soon as the slow season's done, if we can try to give everybody a raise and, and actually do that, because it's the right thing to do is to, to keep up with inflation and, and, and adjust our prices. But unfortunately, our customers are not going to be very happy about that. And uh, they're not going to to want to see the price of their of their services increased, but this is going to increase everybody's poultry pro, uh, prices, uh, specifically for the state of Alabama. Um, depending on exporting of that poultry, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they ship any to, to to Georgia or how that works with the yeah, because I know poultry is very regulated over state lines, so I'm not sure if they can. Um, but but that's going to, to to significantly impact our poultry here and what we're paying. And and when I say significantly impact, you know we might be talking fifty cents to a dollar a pound, which doesn't sound like that much. But when you're talking about you know if it's whatever, let's just say let's just let's just make the math. I know it's not ten dollars a pound, but let's just say the math is easy. At ten dollars a pound, and we increase a dollar a pound. Well, that's a 10% increase on the price of our food uh, just over these these workers. That's not actually including the other costs going into this. The farmers need to make more money. Um, and uh, and the, these farmers that are on these, uh, specifically like the, the Tyson models and stuff like that, they are already um, kind of the scapegoat for, uh, for the finances on it. They're the ones that make the least amount of money. So anyways, guys, what, it's, what it looks like is that uh, it, it, it's 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 no surprise. It's just one more thing we're getting smacked in the teeth with with this inflationary uh, economy that we're in right now. It's just going to continue to get worse and worse and worse. Um, and and inflation, you know, there's a normal amount of inflation that we want to see in a healthy economy, and then there's this ridiculous amount of inflation that we're dealing with now. Um, and uh, it doesn't look like there's any uh, going to be any fix for that in the near future. It looks like that's over the you know the supply chain issues, and we'll, we can get more into it to, to depth on on why that is later. But you know it has to do with the supply chain issues. Uh, it has to do with the way that the government's spending, uh, whether you agree with the spending or not, giving a bunch of money out to citizens, um, and, and just giving what effectively is free money out to citizens and flooding the market with all these wages. Uh, that causes inflation. There's no way around it. It has to. Uh, it's a simple math problem, and uh, uh, because because the money's not there, they simply print it, and uh, the only way that you can redistribute it if it is there is by stealing from somebody else. And so, um, so that 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 money that they that the government handed out that free money, we're we're paying for now. Um, and uh, if we were smart, you know, you put that money in you know gold or crypto or silver or property or some type of tangible asset that can make you money. 
um, sawmill. Um, you know, we, that's what we did with our, with our first stimulus check is <laughs> we bought the sawmill here for the farm. And, uh, believe me, that has well and paid for itself. That was money well spent. So anyways, guys, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep beating a dead horse on this. Uh, stay, stay diligent out there, stay vigilant and, um, <clears throat> just keep an, keep an eye out for each other. That's really all we can do right now is just, you just keep watching out for each other. I've got great neighbors up the road. Uh, we help each other with everything and, uh, they, they watch out for our farm. If we're not here, we do the same for them and, uh, we share a driveway with them. And so we know everybody coming in and out. So, uh, just, uh help each other out guys. Things are just going to get worse. Um, we are not going up right now on our meat prices. We're trying to avoid that at all costs. Um, and, uh, for you, for all that don't raise your own meat, I don't know how you're affording groceries right now because we 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 raise 100% of our own meat, and it, our grocery bills are still astronomical. I just I'm finding this mind-boggling how much we're having to pay, and I'm paying, oh man, probably 35% more now than I was three years ago. And three years ago, we didn't produce 100% of our own meat. We produced some, but not all of it. So. You guys that uh, that don't have the capability of producing your own meat, I feel for you because this has got to be hitting you hard in the wallet. Uh, so, so um, like I said, stay stay safe out there, guys, and uh, just we'll, we're just going to keep crushing it. We're going to keep hustling. We're going to keep uh, buying up assets, setting money aside. We're going to be doing the right things and being smart about our money, right? That's what this uh, that's what this channel is all about: is self sufficiency and homesteading and and making sure that we're not reliant on other people, but we need a community. You know, like Hillary Clinton said, it takes a village, right? Um, but, uh, but we need a community. Um, I know I hate, I hate to quote her, but, but we, we, we have to have, uh, groups of people around that can do everything. No, no one person or family can do it all. Um, and so, so getting those communities together, but, uh, but we, we have to understand this inflation is just going to get worse. I'm going to keep bringing y'all stories like this. I got another one coming out tomorrow. We're going to go over diesel shortages tomorrow. Uh, it looks like that's going to be coming out more. So, um, I do have a long day tomorrow, so it may be another late night one. I uh, might be out here tomorrow night in the, uh, in the night sky doing this. So uh, anyways, guys, really appreciate y'all watching. I'll try not to ramble on too much further. Thanks again. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Like us on Facebook. Share the hell out of this video, guys. That really does help us out. If you are here now, please jump down there and click that like button. Leave a comment too. Uh, I really, uh, really enjoy reading y'all's comments. And, uh, you know, some of you guys that uh, have been watching all my, all the videos, uh, there's a few of y'all that comment like, I mean, as soon as I post a video, you're like, hey, great job. And, and it's so encouraging, guys. I really love seeing that. And, uh, Mary, I hope you're, uh, I hope you're, 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 I think you said daughter. I hope she gets better. Uh, so I hope she's feeling good now. I know you said, you said she was sick, sick on Thanksgiving. So, um, anyway, guys, really appreciate y'all. Thanks again.